How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the difference between using IDs versus using classes in your HTML, CSS and JavaScript code. So basically, um, let's start with IDs. So you're going to want to use IDs whenever you have an element on the page that appears once or is the only one performing that certain function. So IDs are used when you have a single element, okay, a unique element. So, for example, I've got this HTML document right here. In the browser, it looks like this. We have a single title for this page. So, in the actual code, you can see I'm using an H2 tag with an ID of title. When I read this, I expect that there's only one title on this page. And same goes with the CSS inside here, if I target the title ID, um, once again, I expect this to be the only um, title on the actual page. So, IDs are used for a single unique element, okay? This is in contrast to classes. So, you're going to want to use classes when you have uh, multiple elements that serve the same purpose um, or that look the same. So, for example, Let's just say in um, in the body here, we create three divs with a class of box. So we'll say div and then dot box, okay, and do this three times. So we have three three divs here with a class of box. So we have multiple elements with the same class. They're all part of the same group. They're all going to look the same, okay. So in the actual CSS code here, if I say dot box, I expect this to mean that there might possibly be multiple boxes on the actual HTML document, okay? Let's just add some basic styles here. Margin of 5, width of 50, same for the height, background of red, and a float of left, okay? If I was to save this and refresh the browser, we get three red boxes on the screen. So. You're going to want to use classes when you have multiple elements of the same type or the same group. Okay, This becomes even more apparent when using JavaScript. Okay, So if I was to write some JavaScript code down here, we have the document.getElementById function. Okay, This is called getElement, so only a single element is expected to be returned from this function. In fact, um, this function can't return uh, multiple elements. Um, I can just prove this. If I was to make two elements here with the same ID, okay, we'll call this one title number two, and then if I was to actually make a variable here and call this one title equal to the return value of this function, if I pass in title here and then console.log the title, this should select only a single um, uh, title element, okay? Let's just save and refresh the browser here. Open the console. And we get the first um, ID title element. So this function here only returns a single element, which matches the idea of having an ID, okay? Once again, in contrast to using classes, we've actually got a function in JavaScript um, called document.getElementById. So here we actually get um, an HTML collection returned. So we have get elements with an S by class name. We'll put box inside here. Okay, and then console.log the boxes. Now we should get multiple boxes. Let's save this and refresh the browser. In the console, we get an HTML collection. We get an array of divs with an uh, with a class of box. Okay, so once again, use IDs for a single unique element and use classes for um, multiple elements that serve the same purpose or appear to be the same. All right, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.